This Blender tutorial shows how I animated the camera to create this flight through this geometry. And is being recorded at a lower resolution than my previous tutorial, which hopefully will make it visually clearer. With the current frame at the first frame, set the position and rotation of the camera for the opening shot. You can move the camera using various methods. You can either set the viewport to the desired view and then in menu view, align view, select align active camera to view, shortcut control alt numpad zero. You can then also lock the camera to this view via the sidebar panel toggled via menu view sidebar shortcut n and in view tab enable lock camera to view if the viewport or camera view is moving or spinning wildly select the geometry and menu view frame select shortcut numpad dot and then repositioning the viewport or camera should be easier but after doing this if you are inside the geometry near its origin the movement can be difficult and it might be easier to use the following method. Split the 3D viewport editor in two and in one editor lock to the camera view as previously described and the other editor move and rotate the camera from various viewpoints, top, front, etc. activated by the numpad key presses. Holding the shift key whilst moving and rotating the camera enables more accurate placement. Or you can manipulate the camera position via the sidebar panel. I use this method to accurately set the start and end positions of the camera. As the geometry is at the origin at 0, 0, 0, so I position the camera on the Y axis and the X and Z coordinates of the camera are 0 and set the rotation thus. With the mouse over these fields you can hold down the left mouse button and drag left and right to alter the value. With the camera selected, keyframe the camera's starting position and rotation by hovering the mouse over the location in the side by panel item tab and pressing I and then repeat for the rotation. Decide how long the first movement of the camera is going to take and position the current frame at the end of the movement. Change the position and or rotation of the camera as desired. With the camera selected, any changes to the position or rotation since the last keyframe are shown as orange in the sidebar panel and should be keyframed. If the movement of the viewport or camera view is too slow, you could try changing some of the following. Disable subdivision surface modifier for viewport reduces the amount of geometry. In this example there is another way to reduce the amount of geometry via the geometry nodes editor by disabling the selected iterative groups via note context menu toggle node mute shortcut m. If your viewport shading modes is either material or render and you're using the cycles renderer maybe switch to EV just whilst animating the camera or change the mode to solid. Create the keyframes for the camera's position and rotation for the rest of the camera movements. I found that getting the camera to move through the geometry was easier by splitting the 3D viewport as described earlier.
I needed to change the end frame for the animation. Now run the entire animation using the camera as the aligned view. If the animation is too slow, you could try changing in the Timeline Editor, Playback menu, change Sync from Play Every Frame to Frame Dropping. Or try the previous suggestions for speeding up the viewport and camera view movement. If the camera's position or rotation is wrong during a movement, simply adjust its position or rotation at this point in time and keyframe the changes. Here, I wanted the camera's rotation to be just before the movement along the edge and not join the movement from the middle of the geometry. So in the timeline editor, I duplicated the camera's rotation keyframes and dragged the copied keyframes to near the start of the movement along the edge. You never want an empty screen, so I started the final end rotation by simply moving the final rotation keyframes to occur earlier in the timeline editor. By default, any animated change in Blender start and end slowly, being fastest in the middle. This can be seen with the camera selected and creating a graph editor. Press A to select all keyframes and numpad dot to frame select all the keyframes, or select just a couple for closer inspection. The display of graphs can be toggled by pressing the eye icon in the left panel to simplify the editor. In this case, I'm not interested in the XYZ coordinates. This editor provides yet another way to edit the animation as any of the keyframes can be edited in time, horizontally, or their value, vertically. The rate of change can be altered by the curve handles. Not being happy with the camera angle between the first two keyframes, tweaking this handle thus gave the movement I was happy with.
Once you are happy with the camera's motion, don't forget to re-enable any options that you disabled to improve movement or animation speed before doing the final render of the animation. Note that the final rotation demonstrated in this tutorial is slightly different to that in the introduction video. A link to the tutorial of how I created the Blender Geometry Nodes group to iteratively create this geometry is in the description below. My previous tutorials show how I created the geometry seen here, which now has a shiny silver material and is lit by red and blue sunlights to the sides and a green one from above. This is my second tutorial, so any constructive criticism would be appreciated and I hope some of this is interesting or useful.